Howdy artist folks. I wanted to show you a project that I'm working on with forks. And what you do is just get a, a cheap fork, just kind of bend the tines, see if you can get them to work, to, you know, to bend easy. And you just put a pair of channel locks on, like this, good and tight. And then take your needle nose pliers and just twist to however you would like your beard to look. It kind of wears on your wrist a little bit, but just get some cheaper forks where you can get it to bend easy enough. And then what I do is I take a metal primer and prime the whole fork because you don't know what you're going to paint and what you're going to leave off, but it doesn't matter. Just paint the whole fork. And I always base coat in a dark, dark flesh. The darker flesh, the better, and then you just add value till it's lighter and lighter and lighter, and then that white makes the project pop out. So in this case, we're going to add uh, mustache, nose, hat brim, and maybe a little ball here at the top. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. But anyway, this has already been primed, ready to go. And the product that I am using today is called Loctite. And Loctite is a, um, a repair putty and it's got a five minute work time on it. There's another product called Quickwood that has a 15 minute work time. So you might want to consider that if you're a little slower in, in, in work in the putty. But anyway, what I do for a fork, and it comes in two colors, just like this, and then you knead them together to make the epoxy come alive. But cut off about, I don't know, quarter of an inch. And then you're going to take the two colors and blend them together. Roll it around, mush it, whatever you can do to get it one color. Keeping in mind that you have five minutes to work it. And once it starts getting warm, you know it's starting to set, so you want to work pretty quick. Until it's all one color. If it's marbleized, it may not set up on you, so make sure it's one color. And normally you'll put an extender on your hands. I didn't do that today, but I do keep this on hand and clean my hands between each fork, each little project. Okay, one color. So I'm going to pinch off just a tiny bit, roll it around and round and round, then back and forth a couple of times. And this is going to be the brim of his hat. Santa's hat. Just put it up here where the top of the fork starts. And I'm just taking a little toothpick and poke some holes in it. This gives it a texture that looks well after it's painted. So take the rest of the epoxy, maybe pinch off a little bit of a bigger piece and roll it into a ball. It's going to be about that big. This is going to be his nose. You're going to set this aside on top of cellophane. Take the remaining putty, roll it around, then roll it into a pill shape, and just pinch it in half. This is going to be his moustache, and you want a teardrop shape. So roll it on one end to where it's teardrop, then you want to twist it into whatever moustache shape that you like. Mine's going to look like that and then mush it into the, the bulbous part of the teardrop shape into the center of the fork. Take the other piece, starting to set up already, roll it into a ball and then do a tear shape. And again, you're going to twist it until it is whatever shape you'd like. And then you're going to try to mirror what you have on the other side. Once you get it into place, push in the center, work it a little bit. You're going to take that ball that you set aside earlier. It's going to go in the center of the mustache, but put it toward the top. Center up toward the top. And it's going to look like this. Now sometimes I take another ball, depending on how much I've left or if I'm working some more, and I may put a ball right at the top here and poke it with holes, just like I did this one. I maybe paint this rim hat uh, red, 
I think what I'm going to do here is just paint the whole thing red and not do a ball on this one. So I have several of these goings. I'm going to set him aside to dry. It takes about five minutes. And this one I have already dried. Hard as a rock. Not going nowhere. And then I'll take the dark flesh and just really push that paint in there. You want this dark value to be behind all the other paints. So it's got to be all deep, deep down in there. Don't let any of this pewter gray color show. Let's dig on in there. Use an old junky brush. You don't want to use one of your good brushes on this because the tines are a little sharp in places. Not too bad, but just enough to tear a brush up. Just get all the pewter colored epoxy covered. Get in the little curls. Now come to the back, paint the whole area back. You can get your brush in here. And again, dig, 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 dig. Smooth, smooth. Now you're going to work the back of the tines so you don't see any shiny silver showing through. Smooth it out. Make sure there's no gray showing in the mustache. Smooth, smooth. Now you're going to turn it over. This is your front side, so this is what you're going to concentrate on smoothing out. Get all those blobs of paint. Smooth it out. Now the face. Quick strokes. You want it to be as smooth as possible. No major brush strokes in here because this is going to be his face. Now you're going to use more than one coat of this. So, Okay, that's one that's primed with one coat. His little face is going to go right here. And then later on, after maybe two coats of this base color, you're going to come in with a light cream and draw strokes in his beard and mustache. Then you're going to come in with white as the top coat, a little bit of stripe of white just to pop it out, and some highlights, and of course paint his face however you want. And by poking the holes in the hat rim, it leaves those dark values down in the hole, and then when you brush, dry brush, cream, and then white on top of that, the values are, are three-dimensional. It looks really nice. If you have any questions, post it at the bottom of the page, click share or like.